We are now going to look at the adductor muscles of the thigh. That's AD beginning, and ad means towards in Latin. So these are muscles that pull towards. So there's first the long and the short of it. There's the adductor longus, which is here, and then there's the adductor brevis, which is there. That's the long adductor and the short adductor. These are more superficial, and they arise. In fact, all the adductors arise from the underside of the pubic bone, and they fan out, running across the inside of the thigh, attaching to the inner border of the femur, which is your long leg bone. And their basic function is that they pull the leg inwards like this. If the muscle contracts and your leg is straight and it's free, your leg will be pulled inwards. If, however, you're standing on your leg, then what this muscle is doing really is it's acting as a stabilizer and it's helping you do little things like being able to stand, to walk. And as you do, as you make movements, any movement that tends to pull you the other way, if the adductor contracts, it will pull you inwards and it will improve your balance. You will injure your muscle, the adductor muscle, playing sports or doing activities which pull the leg outwards suddenly. And very common sports are soccer or rugby or some sort of sport where you're doing jinking movements from side to side. In soccer in particular, where a player will kick against the ball and somebody else kicks against the ball and then there's a huge pulling movement on the inner side of your thigh. So adductor muscles are very common in, in, in soccer. They're also common in skiing. If you, say, were to slip on some black ice and your legs shot out, again, you would injure and set off triggers in your adductor muscles. Sitting cross-legged would tend to prolong the uh, trigger points in the adductor muscles. If you have osteoarthritis in your hip, it can tend to turn on trigger points in the adductor muscles. Trigger points in these muscles tend to occur high up in the groin. And there's two trigger points, one in adductor longus and one in adductor brevis. Remember, the muscle itself is quite superficial, so it occurs quite soon after, as you start pressing down into your leg, you will strike these triggers. Don't need to press deeply. When these triggers are turned on, then you will feel the pain the most commonly here which is in the groin, high up. And interestingly, if you look, this overlies the hip joint. So the pain from adductor longus and brevis is very, very similar to pain that you get from your hip joint. It's interesting, if you were to ask most people, where is my hip? They would point somewhere out here. And that's actually a long way from the joint itself. The joint is in your groin, that's the place that the joint actually is, and the place that you feel the pain is, from an osteoarthritis of the hip, is actually in the groin. So this mimics osteoarthritis of the hip, and if you have osteoarthritis of the hip, it will often turn on these triggers. So they kind of work or walk together. The second place that these triggers refer pain to is down in the lower leg. And often, there's a little bit of a join between them. And again, this pattern is very similar to the pain that you get from osteoarthritis of the hip. 